Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into my channel, Hupildenbrand Guitar Academia. Today we will um, discuss the, the technique how to play chords as harmonic structures, so notes simultaneously, um, using the plectrum and the fingers together, which I think is a very, very important topic if you want to play more interesting chords, harmonies on the guitar. So let's get right in into the endless ocean of music. Okay, so please uh, follow the link down in the description below. There's a PDF file, um, and I this is a kind of a, a guide uh, through this lesson today and I, I, I'm not explaining everything on these PDF files uh, so it's it's really a good idea to actually download it and also to um, to support this channel this way okay thank you all right so <clears throat> the idea I which, which, uh, which I had actually like a long time ago, was um, I, w I, w I wanted to be able to play chords um, in between of, of melodic lines and just single note lines, and to be just able to play these uh, intervallic structures or three note chords or four part chords um, just in between and not like this is typical, for example, or to, to take the plectrum in the hand somehow or in the mouth and then just play with a um, four fingers, thumb and index, middle and ring finger to play four part structures. Actually, I wanted to be able to, to, to play these four, four part structures and more with this, with the sound of a, like, like, like a piano where the notes are really even together sounding. Um, I wanted to be able to, to play that at any time and not now I'm in the comping mode, now I'm in the um, melodic playing mode. It's, <clears throat> it's, I think it's very, yeah, it's, it's more interesting to, to be able to, to, to mix all these different kinds of textures in your playing. So, um, <clears throat> Another, another, um, another thing um, was actually when I went to Berklee College of Music and we had these lessons from um, Nick Goodrick. There was also a, a, a class I, I took and there he um, introduced every week a new topic. And we, we, we uh, dive quite deeply into the topic of, four, uh, of voice leading of four note structures, so four part structures. And there, very, very soon, if you start the whole thing, you, you come up, you, I mean, you, you, you will be confronted um, with uh, four, four note structures, which have actually strings in between, which you don't play. So, f for example, you have a, um, let's just, you have a chord like this. So you, with this chord, it's like a, a G minor 7, 9. You don't play the A string and you don't play the, the B string. And of course, you could just switch to a different mode, like putting the plectrum away and just play with your, your fingers. Um, but as I said, I wanted to be able to play this at any time. So if I play like... To be always to 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 to, to be able to um, to play these chords, and for that reason I started, and it was quite difficult at first. So I, I expect that if you start now with this whole thing, that it's also quite quite a challenge. But I I will guarantee you then that if you work on that, you will you will um, get this down actually. Um, I started to to uh, to really practice playing all these chords with a plectrum and the fingers and also using my 
small finger. So I have the plectrum, the middle finger, the ring finger and the small finger. So I have like a four part, I can play four part structures. And um, as I said, with open strings in between and at any time in the playing while when I played single notes with a plectrum before or after. Um, okay, so when you, when you get this PDF on the first page, you see like 15 different possibilities. And that's actually this approach here is a bit more scientific, you can say. Um, it's a, it's a, in a way, it's, it's, um, it's not like taking the music first and okay, we have this chord and we have this chord. No, we, we first look, <coughs> we look actually at this uh, technique um, and we, we, we look at all the possibilities of the right hand, what the right hand um, can do. And there are like 15 different possibilities and you see them all on the, on the page. So you can, what you, what you can do, for example, as an exercise, exercise would be to, to take these, these different possibilities, like the first one is the first, uh, the, the lower, I mean, the strings, six, five, four, three. And you can also try to find uh, chords which go with that uh, position. So for example, F major seven or G minor. Possibilities. And, and these, these uh, different possibilities, these different basic positions, as, as I call them, they are structured in um, or sorted by, by the range. So the first three, they are all close, so the notes are close together, so they have the range of four strings. And so it goes on with five strings and at the end you have six strings. Six strings, for example, the first one um, has like the, the low three strings and the high <coughs> E string. So there are two strings like the G and the B string, which you don't play. So you can play, for example, chords like, like this. play them more in this kind of a piano uh, style so it's not like like uh, like something like uh, I don't know how, how you, you would do that you have actually you, you can sometimes you can you can play these voicings with this uh, strumming style by dampening notes but I think this this gives this this uh, I think the, the sound of, of these, these chords like you play like sound very much so you you should you should uh, you, you should give it give it a try this whole technique and, and later on it really it's it's really it it, it frees you you can say it, it makes you you very free with like any any uh, chord any structure you can you can just play and you don't care about are there strings in between which you don't uh, which, you, you, which you should not play so Okay, there's a kind of a legend there, like every finger has its own letter. So we have the P for plectrum, and this means actually um, the, the thumb and the index finger together, and so on. You, you see this all there. Now, let's, 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 talk, let's talk about um, the technique, the technique of the right hand, because this is a, like, like something I, I really worked and, and figured out some, some ways how to, to, to make this whole thing work. As you see, like when I, when I have my fingers here, you see the, the small finger is much smaller than these, these two. So the small finger actually needs a little bit of a different technique when playing these structures together. So what you, what you should do You should, well, let, let, let me explain first the, these different, different movements. Um, 
like the, the middle finger. If you play with a middle finger, and I'm always playing with fingernails, I mean like, like the finger um, tip goes goes to the, um, I mean the string meets on the, on the flesh, on the, the fingertip and then goes uh, to the fingernail and, and actually the fingernail is the last, um, the last, um, how do you say, uh, the last station before the string actually starts vibrating. It's a crucial part. I, I come to that later. Okay. Um, so, and, and the middle finger and the ring finger, they, they share the same technique. What's, what's very important here is that the, um, the end joint, or the end knuckle of the, of, these, uh, of the middle finger and the ring finger, they're actually loose. So, if I, I play the string, my... my the, the whole joint yields the, the, the resistance of the string, you can say. So it, it goes like, like, like this. It's not like, like this. This gives, if I, if I do this, it's more like, like a, uh, you can say, like a cembalo, like a clavicimbal, um, clavichord, sorry, clavichord sound. Um, <clears throat> so we don't want that. The idea is really to, to, to have this end knuckle quite loose and also it's like, like a, you, you, it, it should feel like, like that, that you're actually pushing the string a bit down, down to the top of the guitar. So, so push, push it a little down, try that. So don't, don't take it with your fingers and uh, like, a, like a bow, you know, do that. No, it's, it's more, it's really like you push the string a little bit, you try to bend your, your end knuckles of these fingers, and then after, after you play, play the, the, the uh, strings, the fingers really go into the hand. So they don't touch the neighbor's string. That's, of course, important. Okay. With a small finger, it's, it's different. The small finger, actually, you have to you have to bend the the end knuckle a bit and keep it a bit rigid against the resistance of the string because only that way actually you can guarantee that you play you play the string with your fingernail because if you also do that to keep it more loose or you don't care so much about it um, mostly the, the string will really, if you have a fingernail, the string will go over the, the tip and then just smash against the fingernail. And by, by doing this, this, this movement to, to, to bend the, the knuckle, the string actually goes very, very nicely from the fingertip across the fingernail and the the, um, the transition is very smooth if you if you file your fingers right actually as i said we talk about that quite soon here okay when you when you do that so you 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 go into a certain position for example you have a g minor 7 11 chord and if i do that just right before I actually play the string, the, the position is, I hope you can see this actually, it's like um, these, these, these knuckles are, are, are loose and yield the, the resistance of the strings and the, the little finger, the small finger, is, is bent. So by, by having this, all the, the end joints of these three fingers, they have all the same angle to the strings. And by having the same angle to the strings, they have approximately the same way also um, across uh, alongside the um, fingernails. Okay. Um, Let's talk about the, the fingernails a bit, a bit later. 
let's talk about the um, the exercise you, you can you, you should do. So the the idea is, I mean, the, the the practice should be to 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 get a real even sound of these four voices in a chord. You can you can think actually you can, really can think them as you have a four part choir, for example, and you have four different um, um, voices. So it's like a polyphonic uh, polyphonic thing you're dealing here with, and you want to you want to make to, to get every every voice. It's 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 kind of loudness or it's kind of dynamic um, sound that it's it's the whole the whole voicing will really sound like really um, full and um, yeah just just really like full and no voice is is, is really sticking out too much. Okay, so what you what you um, what you do? For example, I, I take this chord. I like this chord very much. Um, it's like a G minor with a ninth. So I play the G here and the open D string, the B flat on the G string, and the A on the high E string. I play this, and the exercise is first to really play this chord and try to make this chord sound nice. And what you what you should do to make sure that you you're doing this, this right, you should you should listen to every voice separately while playing the whole thing. So I hear this is G. I try to make this. I mean, I, I listen for the G and I, I ask myself, is this loud enough? Is it too loud? Does it sound nice? And for the for the lower lowest note, always you play always with a with a pick, with a plectrum. It's a good good idea to to play to play the string with this with this side. With this side here of the pick, and you're doing this this kind of a, this kind of a movement. So if I do that, I get actually like a quite quite nice full sound. But of course, it's just my way. I'm I'm explaining what I'm explaining to you here. It's just my way of of my approach to it and I also play with a metal pick and I also use the round side of the pick so your 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 setup and your technique might be quite different so you have to you have to make some adjustments of course okay then I li listen to this to this D here and I'm listening that's quite present in the chord very often the um, middle finger is a little bit hmm. so this B flat here but in this case on the high A it's quite balanced so what you um, what you should then try or at the same time to make one voice stick out so to to play and then try to have a strong bass like the low or like it's hard this exercise is actually really hard to play like different dynamics with the same hand and the each finger of the right hand should have a different power. It's, it's quite complex. But at least you should you should sing that way. You should know, okay, it's a middle finger. What is doing a bit more more power here? And then the ring finger. the high 
by the, the small finger. So by doing this, you, you actually you, you get a feel. You get a feel in the right hand and you got to get more conscious about what to do and how it feels and you get you get more into the subject by doing by doing this exercise. On the next page of the PDF you find also like different exercises you you, you can do um, to just make play you, you stick to one chord or to one position. Actually the chord really doesn't matter so much here. Maybe I should change the chord also to get a Takes a different position also. So I have a G, I have F major with a G with a ninth on top. And I can I can try, I can practice all these different possibilities with the right hand. So I can just play. Um, actually, what I, what I do is I I um, I keep keep in touch with with all the strings. I mean, every finger has its string and I, I, I stick to that position and I actually put a little bit tension with my right hand on the string as if I would just um, play the chord. And in this position, I'm first do exercise where I just play one, one, um, one note or one finger. So I stick to that position and I try to just play the low string. That's not so difficult. I play the just the middle finger, ring finger, and. Then I can do all these different kinds of combinations with, with just the low two strings or the next pair of two strings. This is, uh, this is actually really great practice to get much more in, in, in control of the whole thing to, to really it also the, the feeling really changes when you, when you do these exercises and then you, you, you play the, the chords. Then you really it, it feels more strong. it feels more in, in control. It's, it's, it's a fuller sensation in a way, in the, in the, in the body, in the hand. Um, okay, I'm, I'm just... I mean, you have the, the, the pages there and you can, you can do all these, these exercises. There are also some, some uh, tips, some general points for like how to, how to approach chord changes. So how, what the left hand actually should, should do. There's one, one important thing if you do a, a chord change, that's maybe the, the most important thing on that page, is that you, 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 you try to relax the, the hand, the, the left hand, very briefly during a chord change. So the relaxation makes, makes possible that you, you, much, you, you, you move much easier to the next, to the next chord. And there, there will be not so many mistakes. That's that's very, really, really important because um, most of us, like normally, we, we try to we don't think too much about it, and then we we we, we play this chord chord and we have a lot of pressure on it, and then we want to go to the next chord and we still think yeah we need pressure we need pressure, and then very often we have like like. There, there, there come really come uh, coming mistakes from from that. So really think, play a chord, relax, find the next chord, press. Play the chord, relax, find the next chord, press. So 
always this small, this small gap in between. Of course, you 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 want to make you want to try to make this gap very 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 short, so it's not a, it's not like like a staccato or a real a real um, pause there. Um, <clears throat> but you can you can bring it to to a point where you just have a bit of relaxation because you need this relaxation kind of anyway because you 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 your fingers have to find new formation and in. It's 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 very hard to while still um, having all these muscles working to find this new formation. So it's a it's a it's a very subtle thing actually, but it's very effective also for for um, um, that you can play more long that you're not t that you're not tiring yourself too quickly. So you have more. Um, I miss a word. Um, okay. Anyway, let's let's talk about this 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 um, right hand um, and the the filing of the the right hand. I mean, of the fingernails. With the fingernails, you have a more more clear and and a not so so um, dampened. Um, Sound and I, I really prefer to play these these things these chords with the fingernails, and when I say I play these with the fingernails, it's of course not that that you're only touching the fingernails. It's always a combination. You you the string goes meets the the, the flesh here of the fingertip, and then it it moves a bit towards the fingernail. And this, this transition between the fingertip and the fingernail, this should be very smooth, very even. Though there should be not like, like a, a, a thing like the, 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 the string goes around the fingertip and then have a, a bit of a, a gap there and smashes against the, the fingernail. It's, it's really, it should be like, an, like a very even... Um, an even um, even movement, an even transition, and after that, when I, I call this a, the that's a kind of a, the meeting meeting point in, on the fingernail is where the the finger meets. I mean, where the string meets after after um, coming over the fingertip, where it meets the fingernail and at this point it still has some some contact with the with the flesh of the fingernail and then the this transition comes and it it's 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 it goes off of the the fingertip and it's just on the on the fingernail and then there you can you, you should file like a kind of a, a jump where the string actually gets a little bit of an extra push and goes in, in, in yeah into the air and and starts vibrating and after this this jump there should be um, you should file the, the, the fingernails more down um, that it's not in the way the fingernail after the jump but you find you find actually some pictures also of of the of of, uh, of my fingernails as an example how you um, how I do that and The best thing, of course, it's it's not that you, you really keep the same measurements because also the, the angle and, and uh, you might be a bit different of your fingers to the strings and also your, your body, your fingers might be different. And, um, so it's, it's more that you're aware of that. And then that while when, you, when you're playing and when you're filing your fingers, you should just um, make some experimentations with that to move certain parts down I mean stick to this to this idea to the general point like you have a meeting point you have a, 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 um, a little pass on the fingernail and then you have the, the jump and that's it um, so with it with that idea try to 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 file your fingers and you 
the, the fingernails, and you you will you will find out um, the, the differences and what what actually like a jump really can do. And um, also here that the, the beginning the the beginning of the, the the fingernail here should be also a bit more more down because mostly mostly the, the otherwise the, the, the string gets a little bit blocked here with the fingernail with a little finger it's 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 different and you you you, you see this on on these these pictures this this finger is a bit filed a bit different because also of the different angle it has the the the, the string comes much um, hmm. Earlier, yeah, maybe maybe a bit earlier also on the on the on the fingernail, um, but you 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 will find out. I mean, it's it's like you just have to make a very smooth transition, and I also had to 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 work on that, and and um, it took me it took me a while to find out that I actually have to bend my 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 um, my little finger here um, in the end knuckle a bit to 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 get the to get like a good good um i mean to get really like to get like a full kind of a full sound i mean still it's not like you can say perfect in a way but it's enough it's it's okay so it's um yeah Okay, um, I think that's 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 it for 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 this lesson. It's actually a lot of material, and please um, let me know what what you think about the whole thing, your own um, efforts, and what you experience when you uh, experienced when you were practicing these things. So that's it for for this lesson and please there's a possibility if you want to support this channel to go on the on the link down below to my website um, the guitar academia site on my website and there you also find a find a link uh, a button where you can donate this would be really great to support this whole thing here so yes thanks for watching my name is Hubert Brandt.